Hello, my name is Risa Jackson. I will be retelling exercise 1.3. Now, 1.3 is entitled The Gift. The speaker starts off by telling us her name it is Bobby Jordan. She says she wants to tell us a story about a story that changed her life. Now, this story is a secondhand story. It is not a personal experience of Bobby Jordan, but her friend. Now, when she moved to California, this friend told her this story. She took up with this wonderful friend who told her this story, and she was from this tiny community that was very religious and into the Catholic Church. Now, the story starts off with her telling us that a young, wonderful man who was a priest came to this tiny community. He had new ideas, he brought the church to life, and they wanted to repay him. So to repay them, pay him, they decided they were going to redo the parish hall. Now, they got a carpenter who put in new wood. They got a plumber who did all new plumbing. They even had a tile person come in and put down sage green tiles. Everything looked so wonderful. Now, Bobby's friend is a mother of three young children. A wife, her husband owns a small business, so they are not very rich because Bobby is not working. There's only one income coming in. Now, as the story goes on, she says that after paying bills and other things, they had to scrimp and save, scrimp and save so that they could afford these expensive green towels that were so beautiful and would match the priest's bathroom. So they saved up, they got these expensive towels, and they wrapped them up very nicely and gave it to the priest as a gift. Now he knew this was coming from a loving heart and accepted this gift. Now as time goes on in this story, the friend goes to her friend Annie's house. Now the community women get together because Annie has lost her young boy. She has lost her son. He has passed away. And they want to bring casseroles and support to her and be there for her. Now, the friend of Bobby went into Annie's bathroom just to get a touch of, use the restroom. And she sees the very towels that she gave the priest. She said, Annie can't afford these towels. And why would she want green towels when her bathroom is salmon? So she leaves out of the bathroom, doesn't say anything to Annie or anyone else. The next day, she goes to the rectory. She goes to talk to the priest. She goes up to the priest and says she doesn't understand how Annie has the towels that she gave him. Well, he says that Annie needed these towels more than he did. So he gave them to her. She couldn't understand this concept. So he explains. Once you give something to someone, it's theirs to do it what they may. And she felt this was, she recognizes this. And it only comes once in a lifetime that you recognize something like this. That there was a great lesson to learn here. The lesson is, you give a gift, the gift is gone. You give it, and you give it to the person. It could be your Aunt Tilly, your best friend, who wants to take that gift and give it away. Now, they can give it away the very next day. That's just fine. They can do that. It is now their gift. And because you have given not the object, but your love, this was the important lesson for me to learn that day. And that's my story, is what Miss Bobby Jordan ends the story by saying. So her lesson, her purpose of this story was to say that once you give a gift, the gift is gone. It's someone else's. 
and they can do it with it as they may. I hope you enjoy listening to Exercise 1.3 Retold by me, Risa Jackson. Thank you.